Welcome to classroom setup day one. Here is the beginning. All right, I cleaned up that. For now, I think I'm just gonna put them in this thing. My back to school bulletin board timer, and it's like this set of three. Hi, you guys. Welcome to classroom setup day one. My mom is here with me. We just got in. We brought in some things, and now we're gonna kind of just like clean up a little bit our floors were just clean and i have all my desks in here and i got my class roster today i have 18 students so it's gonna be very interesting to see how we all fit in here but we're gonna go ahead do some things and i'll bring you guys along step one is getting rid of the bottom of this it just got way too torn up as you can see so we're just gonna keep the outer edges and just not have anything down there because you can't even see it anyways with the desks there here is the beginning. So there's all of my desks and chairs. My desk area will be over there. Here it is pretty much empty. I did keep a couple things up from last year, which that was a huge help. That was a huge help to be able to keep that up. I need to take that down and keep finishing that. But we have a lot of work to do, to be honest, because I don't know how I'm gonna fit all these in here. So that'll be a work in progress. Um, I need to take down both of those things. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, we took down the birthday things, we took down the cubby things, and now we're gonna go ahead and empty out everything in my closet and get it out. And I think kind of like rearrange uh, the bookshelves up here and like the display bookshelf and figure out like how I wanna rearrange the front of the classroom because I am gonna have to like do a couple things differently, but I can't move my desk or anything yet because they're gonna clean the carpet over there in that area later. So there's no point in moving that. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything out of my closet, which is gonna be a lot change of plans mom had a better idea we actually are gonna go ahead and put my desks out and arrange them so that we have like desk space to work with and like empty up my closet and put things in different areas so that way we're not having to put it on the floor and break our backs <laughs> All right, we kind of just set them out like this. We have enough like table space to work with. This isn't how they're gonna go, but now we're gonna go ahead and empty out my closet. I've got everything out of my closet. It's now just kind of all right here. I put up my little affirmation station. I may change that once we'll get started because I'm missing a lot of them and I may kind of want to change it up. But that's gonna be there for now. And now we're gonna kind of organize and go through some of this stuff and find a home. I took a little bit of a break because I was opening up a package from Amazon Influencer Program. So I'll show you guys that really quick. It was for their back to school campaign. So they sent me this backpack and it had a ton of things in it for back to school and just like for things to treat myself, which is so sweet. So I just opened that and had to do a video on that. So now we're going to get back to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn these things around and figure out because that goes in the front. So I'm going to move that up there first. All right, that's obviously a hot mess, so we'll reorganize that really quickly. All right, now time to turn these two things around. I just shoved things down there. 
now we have that all turned around. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep that there because typically my rocking chair goes right here and I just don't know if I'll have the room. I definitely can use it somewhere in here though, hopefully. So if not there, then I'll probably just put it over here and do two bookshelves under there since we don't really have to access those ever. So we'll figure that out as we keep going. I'm honestly feeling a little overwhelmed because I feel like now that my desks are in and now that those things are turned around, I'm like, oh, I'm done. But like, I've really not done it at all. I still have so much that I need to put up on the walls, so much decoration, but I feel like it's hard because my desk isn't ready to be done yet. So I can't do anything with that yet. So, and also today I'm not doing any bulletin boards or anything like that. I'm just gonna wait for the next day, which I'm not doing it tomorrow either. I'm actually gonna do it next week. So we'll see. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna wait for my mom to come back and figure out what I can do to make the most of our time here. I finished cleaning that off and organizing it again I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like that this year I'm like gonna pretty much put everything back kind of how it was last year and then as I'm doing it figure out what things I want to change so like those two things one of those is my math toolkit the other is early finisher I'm definitely gonna move the math kit somewhere else I just haven't figured out where yet so <laughs> we'll figure that out and then I feel like I could make better use of that middle space so again I may not put that there I really don't know yet we'll see all right mom is now gonna open up these things, which I think is a two pack of those clear drawers. I thought they could be either used for like different colored paper or some kind of organization. So we're gonna open it up. Ah! Here's one. And there's the other. Don't know what I'm doing with those yet. May put them, cause like all of this stuff is gonna go. So yeah, I don't know. I also got these four white turn and bend things that I may sort papers with. I'm not sure yet. So it's a work in progress. All right, I cleaned off that and I'm gonna put like my roll of paper, my timer and my calendar back up here for now. I'm gonna have to eventually take it off when I actually like do the border and stuff around there, but just to hold it up there for now. All right, I have my calendar and roll of paper up, timer, and then I ended up putting the two things right there. They kind of stick out a teeny bit. I don't know if I'm going to keep them there or not. I don't know if I like that. I may end up just putting them in my closet depending on what I do with them, but for now, that's just gonna stay there. I need to find where I put my clipboards because all of that needs to go up somewhere before I leave today. For now, I think I'm just gonna put them in this thing and just like see how that works. They're obviously not gonna stay there, but for now, that's where we're gonna put them. ended up putting the clipboards over there which is like the best spot that I've had them in so far I'm trying to get rid of these that have like the big clip just because they take up so much room now that I have those out of the way I need to figure out where I'm gonna put the extra ones I think I have some in my closet that I need to take out and then I can put those in there and get the rest that don't have the big chunky clips okay scratch that I don't know where they are so we're just gonna leave those here but this is definitely where i'll keep them probably because i feel like it'll be easy for them just to um, grab them out of that little thing so we'll keep those for now and i'm just gonna stack up the extras right here and we may be calling it a day pretty soon it is 2 15 
So really, I don't want to do any like decor or anything today. I just kind of wanted to get things out and like put them in their relatively close place that they're going to go. So I am probably going to go ahead and put up like my pencil sharpener, things like that. And maybe try and figure out how my desks are going to go because that is stressing me out. <laughs> Here's my bulletin board for outside. Alrighty, you guys, that is it for day one. We did our bulletin board outside. Feeling pretty good. Still a little overwhelmed and stressed, but it'll come together. Um, I hope you guys like day one of kind of just like the bare bones of it all. And definitely stay tuned because the more fun things are coming where I do my bulletin boards in here, get my whiteboard all set up, the books, rearrange everything, my desk area, so. All right, we are going back to my classroom. This is kind of just to drop all of this stuff off. So it's not really day two, but I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and see this process. And I of course have my trusty sidekick. All right, I have these two checkered boxes, these colorful dominoes, this, and then some things down here that are gonna go in. So we're gonna go ahead and grab all of that. I always let my mom in through the window. Hand it to me. box number one actually number two and the bag is that it yep. no that's good hey okay, i'll show you what we brought in okay so these were things that were donated to me from like previous teachers and i was super excited about this i don't know how i missed it last year but it is like the magnetic alphabet and so my kids this would be perfect for small groups because they're already sorted and like it has the letter on the front so they know what letter goes where and there's four of them so that is gonna be perfect there's also oh yeah okay I didn't know this but these are the magnetic boards that go with that and they can write the words oh my gosh this is actually from my kindergarten teacher when she taught kindergarten and she just retired this year but here are all of those. Wow, that's awesome, I didn't know that. And then there are a bunch of books and it's called Let's Talk About and it's like being messy, being bossy, being destructive, lying, being greedy, being lazy, being bullied, interrupting. And it's like these old books. Oh my gosh, they look so old. They're so cute, I love them. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole bunch of these in this box. So I'm gonna put these it's gonna be so good to do like little mini lessons around. So I will definitely be using these. And it's just so sweet that they were passed down. So if you're gonna be a new teacher, definitely ask around for teachers that are retiring to see, to see if they have anything that they would like to donate to you because I'm sure they do. The next box are a bunch of bingos. I really didn't have any bingos for first grade. So I'm so excited. This is like an alphabet bingo, which will be so fun just to pick one of the first few days because it is first grade. Uh, and then there's a color and shape bingo, sight word bingo, that's gonna be great. Addition zero to 10 bingo, numbers bingo, rhyming and consonant bingo, and then sight words and more sight word bingos. And then she actually must have, these were from 
what were these from? Lids to uh, orange juice things, aren't they? Yeah, it's like Sunny lids Beach. to like Sunny D. These are like the little markers, which is so cute. So definitely get these because these are way easier to clean up than a bunch of those little clear plastic chips. So um, I will definitely be using all of these. So we brought this stuff in and then I just have like some more storage things that I brought in. So it's a pretty quick trip, but I wanted to go ahead and make sure I had all this in my classroom. And we're gonna put it in the cabinet since at the end of the year, I organized my cabinets. So we're gonna put them in the right spot. Okay, the next thing that I brought in were just a couple things for my wish list. And this is pop for addition and subtraction game. I'm so excited about this. Like I said, since I taught third grade, like two years ago, and this is my second year in first grade, last year I didn't really buy anything new for first grade. I didn't really know what I'd need. So I wanted to like wait a year to see what I would use. And I definitely would use that. And then here's my new timers. It is from Time Timer. And it's like this set of three. It's like the secondary colors. And I'm really excited. I think... I'll have to see like what it looks like, but I really like the purple and then I think I'm going to gift one of them to my coworker slash little neighbor over there. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm going to keep them in here though. And then I also from Target got a bunch of these white bins to like sort things because I have two pink ones that are my turn in bin and then like for my assistant. And I feel like these are just like so good for so many things. And then I thought this was so cute for like... For their work it's the wood clips but they have like cute little things on them that say like i believe in you you make me happy so i'm gonna put that probably in the hallway or wherever i display their work so i'm excited about that i'm gonna put that with my clothes pins also something we're living for the beach today but something we're gonna be looking for at the beach is a smaller prize box i got this one from target and it's great it's just like it's huge honestly and i feel like when you have too many things in the prize box, it takes them forever to decide what they want. And it also just takes up a bunch of room. So I'm gonna get probably like half the size of this. If I can't find one at the beach, then we'll just get one off Amazon. But that way it can save some space and I can like fit it in a better spot. So here's this, but that's on my to-do list that you guys will see on probably classroom setup day two. Okay, we put everything in my room that was in my car. Actually, I think there's one more box in the back. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> We'll get that another time. But we went ahead and put those boxes in there and kind of put those things away, which was great. And then we filmed a couple TikToks. So make sure you're following both of us on TikTok. I'm Life with Little Learners. She's Life with Big Learners because she's a high school teacher. So definitely be following us over there. But thank you guys so much for watching for Classroom Setup Day 1. This is probably where I'm going to end it. And then next week we'll start Classroom Setup Day 2.